Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Soy Kaylinda, and I'm back with another video. Okay guys, in the last video, I ended up cleaning up my closet and I kind of didn't finish showing you guys rude much, but yeah, today is Friday, the day after, and this is what my closet is looking like right now. Ooh. Still a lot of work that needs to be done. A lot. But I basically have a lot of errands that need to be ran. I need to do a change of address. Uh, I have to get a washer and dryer because this place doesn't come with one. So I have to go get in a washer and dryer and um, get a U-Haul because we want to start getting ready, putting this stuff in because tomorrow is moving day. So come with me to get all this stuff. And as always, go follow my Patreon page. Well, go visit my Patreon page because there's tons of uncensored mom videos over on my Patreon page. You can find that in the link in the description or you can visit www.soykaylinda.com and visit the Patreon tab where you can join the Patreon and become a Patreon and join the family where we have tons and tons of tons of fun over there. So I hope to see you over there. But come on guys, let's go. Hey everybody, so I'm trying to get the Where heck out of here and we have Stupid and Stupider over oh here. God, it's going. Mr. Stupider to you. And, and come on, like we're try I'm trying to get this get out of here. Why are we wait, wait, why are we getting out? What's happening? We're like moving we're people. Moving or right? We are. I'm so confused. Alright, we need all that? children of the corn. Where are we going? Where are we going, Jimmy? Alright, let's go, because I got my sandals in the car. Alright. <laughs> I really do. Alrighty. So. Let's go. Watch your I look like a like a like a doll or something with that light. Looks weird. Okay, guys. So we'll see you when we're at our first low. Hey, everybody. So I am at the post office, going to do the change of address. So I'm gonna go in there, do the change of address, and after, I am going to be getting my washing machine. So I'll be back when I'm at the washing machine place. Okay, so we're at the first location to get the washing machine. So come on with us. What type of, what type of, um, The one we have is aesthetic. a whirlpool. It doesn't matter the aesthetic, we're getting it white, right? White or the silver Samsung. one? Samsung. It's a part time. We have a plan, financial plan. So each one, you can apply. Okay. It's 90 day free. LG. LG. Mm, Amara. Thank you. The one that we kind of have looks like that, right? Yeah, we got the whirlpool, but um, well, that's the one that we did. And what is this? Our G is. Señora, ¿cuál es el precio de la G? It's wide because it's like uh, more digital. Yeah, that's all. And I can cool. see uh, it has different set settings. I'm gonna look at the ones over here. Cause I like the one we have at the house. I'm gonna see if they have it. Yeah, I guess. I think it's the same price. 
good. Okay. Samsung. No. He likes, we like touch screen. So I think he's looking for a touch screen, yeah. I like it visually because I get to see the different things. Yeah. Let's see there. I like this one too. Well, he said this one, um, the LG wow. one here is 12. Oh, no, uh, that one too. One yes. year, with one year warranty. Yes. The factory man. Okay. Frank. For that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She vlogs. <laughs> oh, she makes vlogs? Yeah, she does YouTube. Are you too? Yeah. YouTube channel. take home guys it's really nice it's a lot different than the one at the house but I like it it's a nice washer and dryer and I like this store it's a nice store it's got so many washers and dryers to choose from <laughs> Because we needed one really fast. These are nice too. Oh, it's called. Oh, I don't know the name of it. <laughs> but it's in Kissimmee. It's got a whole bunch of appliances everywhere. It's really hot out here. So I'll see you guys when we go to our next location. Okay, guys. So the kids went back home. They are actually staying with my brother at the house and me and Mike are actually at budget uh, to get a moving truck right now and then next to us is, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can't see it, but back there is the Pinsky I think it's called, I don't know, Pinsky. But it's so hot guys, we're in Florida, so it's like super hot. But we're basically trying to get the blooming truck so that way we can pick up the washer and dryer because it comes out cheaper if we do it that way. It costs more money, I think it's like a $100 delivery fee. So yeah, right now we are there. And Mike came back, so let me see what he has. Okay, so now we're at the Penske, Peninsky. This is where we're at because the budget didn't have anything. So now we're at the Peninsky. And hoping that they have it. If not, we're gonna have to do it for tomorrow morning, but that kind of gives us a lot of time to pack up all night long. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna have to probably go get our washer and dryer and then do the whole moving thing. It's just a lot and we're trying to get everything done before Mike has to go back to work on he has to go back to work on Monday. So we need to get everything done 
done done done so we're trying really really hard i really hope that he can get one i don't know why it looks so weird this looks like so weird let me see isn't it like this you could take it down or something i think it was this one i feel like i looked really lit up oh okay here we go i looked really lit up at that moment so yeah why do I, I feel lit up. Like I feel like too lit, like lit like a tit. <laughs> okay, so he's in there. He gets a little frustrated all the time because we're driving around and we should have had did this first. But it, to me, it just doesn't matter because we'll just get it tomorrow. So he's inside of there and the kids are back, like I said, with my brother and they're over there back there and hopefully we can get it all done because we were gonna get the truck and then we were gonna head over get the washing machine so that way tonight we could load up the truck and possibly even move some stuff tonight if it's possible if not I think we'll do everything tomorrow and then you guys will have another vlog for tomorrow I so. think that I am out the house right now and I have everything set to upload to the YouTube channel so I'm hoping that is going on right now gonna try to there's no service where I'm at of course so try to look for service because if I could look for the service then hey we could see if that YouTube video had uploaded I don't know why everybody does this to like find service because it just doesn't work it's like never no service nowhere video may have uploaded it was only on like 96% before I had left up the house so I'm just hoping that everything is all good and it is uploaded so you guys can see that was like my vlog before yeah, but I kind of wanted to rush to give you guys a vlog so like I have extra footage from before when I was cleaning but I'll probably like include that somewhere along the line or I think about just putting it to my patreon page that behind the scene footage and I think that is where I'm gonna post it at so I think it's best to put it on my patreon page I think it'll be cool there and actually put one half on uh, the five dollar tier and then one the uncensored mom uncensored will be on the higher tier so that's what I'm probably gonna be doing rather than you know doing that I'll just be putting those secret clips there so I'll probably be putting the secret clips there because it'll make it just it'll just be better and I'm just like super duper hot I'm like so hot it's really hot out there and I know I should be drinking soda but I love crisp spray Basically, I got a letter about the 
Canola, 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 Coronavirus, Corona. That's the only way I can. I don't know, know I'm saying it right, but I remember. I remember it by the TikTok videos because they go Corona time. <laughs> it, I know I shouldn't be joking about it, but it, that's how I remember it by the cup, the the TikTok. So basically, the letter states, Dear residents, your health and well-being are important to us. We wanted to share the canola virus. Resources that may help you stay informed. And basically, was like an informational letter so that we are aware of the resources that we can get. That That is what I loved about the apartments was that um, the resources that we can get. But we really needed a lot of space we needed more space because the kids are all crammed together i'm stuck in an office that is my closet and that's really hard for me to game it's really hard for me to do asmr because like i'm literally like this and a lot of my videos like show it it shows that i'm like in like a little small space so that's what i'm basically excited about is to move and finally have an office and it's a set aside from the kids so like you can't really hear it there and I can get a lot of my work done. Sino gets his own room and Zendaya was so, I, Zendaya was gonna be the one who gets her own room, but she was so adamant that she wanted to share with Zaylene because her words is this. Zaylene doesn't bother nobody. <laughs> Zeno can be, uh, he, he's very clingy and he clings on to me and her a lot because we're the girls and he's learning the baby and he's learning how to love the baby because why he's the baby himself so he's learning but Zendaya being that she's five but has a mind of a grown-up a mind of a she's like what, what do you call that five going on 13 she's like that it annoys her so whenever she plays her Roblox and she plays all her games on her phone he's always overlooking her and she finds it to be annoying to her so I try to teach her the best way that I can that that's not annoying uh, that's your brother and he wants to learn and to teach him and there's times that she will teach him the games and she'll teach him how to play and then there's times where he gets he's a little bit on the tantrum side where he throw a tantrum he hits things and he throws things which is a normal two-year-old thing but she doesn't understand that because you can't put that type of responsibility on a five-year-old to understand that so she can't really understand that that is how he gets so that being said she preferred to have her own room which works out well she preferred to be with Zaylene which works out because Zaylene is very quiet she's chill and calm and I feel like Zendaya's gonna need that type of environment and Zaylene's a baby so I can pick her up when Zendaya actually does homeschooling because she will be homeschooling uh, I believe that my time to go do it is uh, around sometime in July no it's a little bit like August or September is when I register her with K-12 and she gets to teach her online and all that stuff which I'm super excited about because finally I am going to have a homeschooling structure plan that's a lot better than what I do now because what I do now is the K-12 but it's on a computer and nobody really teaches her because of the amount of work that I do I do separate the time that I can do with her and then I separate the time that that she goes and actually goes on the K-12 program called Embark it's a really great program so if anybody is like interested in homeschooling or anything like that the Embark program is actually pretty good um, it has like profiles and you pay for the Embark program and you have it forever. So basically Zeno can use it and Zaylene can use the Embark program. So she's on the Embark. Her problem that she's having now is number recognition. So basically it's about learning. So I'll put like Pink Fong on for her and repetitive, repetitive because she likes music. So listening to Pink Fong over and over and over on the number playlist can give her that recognition because she has problems with actually saying counting to 10 and also recognizing the number and as well as alphabet sometimes I will put she knows the alphabet but she doesn't know it by her seeing the alphabet which she needs to learn so that is something that she needs to learn so right now before I had left I put her to 
watch numbers because numbers is what I really want her to learn. So I have put her to watch numbers and my, my son, he's watching numbers with her. Why Zaylene is watching PBS Kids in her room. They're in the living room, chilling with my brother, eating snacks, typical stuff that they do. So right now, I'm trying to see if this, I don't know why, but I only have one bar. So it's kind of like the reason why this is like not showing me, but I'm pretty sure the video has uploaded. Pretty sure, 100% sure, because I don't think it processes that well. I need to charge my cell here of the bike. assuming that he's getting the u-haul because it's been quite a while that i've been sitting here i've been recording this for 12 minutes so i'm gonna assume that he's getting the u-haul or maybe there's a big line wait because there was people at the budget place trying to get it and it's not a u-haul this is peninsky oh uh, it's like so many people we're, we're not going with u-haul because like i think i have time so i'm gonna tell you guys why we're not going with u-haul so a lot of you guys know this is like really go into details but most people who've been watching me for a while know that I had moved already in the past because of something uh, we were moving we were excited we we're moving to another place that place didn't work out so then we moved to the place that we are at now but it's just the space the space so we are going somewhere else so when we were moving from the other house with the with uh, the U-Haul Mike actually did something really silly um but in his head it wasn't silly because he thought i don't know but <laughs> i can't even say what it was but basically he went and since i am talking about mike and stuff like that i need you guys to go head over to the family channel so we can start posting on there because i think that it would be really cool to start doing prank videos and all that stuff and we can keep leave the comments enabled and stuff so go head over to the family channel i'm going to be putting it right here or there i'm going to be putting it there and also look down in the description to find out the family channel because i really feel like we need to build that family channel up so we can start posting prank videos and all that cool stuff but so Mike or Mike or whatever, he went and he drove the U-Haul in mud and it got stuck. I was so adamant about going to the mailbox and the mailbox was over like by, it, it had rained and you guys know Florida's always raining, it's crazy. If you don't know, now you know what that in Florida gets like that. So. Florida gets like that. So basically, sorry, uh, it's my sister-in-law. I'll get back to her a little bit when my husband gets back at the bar. But anyways, uh, it had got to the point that uh, that it was raining and I wanted to go in the mailbox so bad because we were moving. I was like, okay, let me get the last bit of mail, blah, blah, before I do the change of address. So basically what I had did was, basically what I had did was told him to go to the mailbox. So he did. So when we went to the mailbox and he was leaving out, okay, so this picture right here is the mail room because it was a room that you could go into and then next to it is grass. So when he had parked somewhere and I guess because he didn't want to go around, he decided to do a U-turn and went into the grass. This is the building. He went into the grass u-turn but went too deep into the grass to the point that the the u-haul got stuck in there and then so basically what happened was it was basically a disaster it was just so bad it was just really really bad because we had to pay out of pocket for the guy to pull the thing out to, to pull the truck out and it was just so much money that had to be it was just so much plus we had to pay we had to pay like jump pay for basically we paid for the u-haul twice then in the same month we paid for it twice so that was already uh essentially from that place from that place to the next place that already was like three four hundred dollars and then we had to pay three four hundred dollars again for the new move and then we also had to pay to move the truck out which was four hundred dollars to move it out so that was just moving off that stuff that was to move from 
from one house to get to the next house and then I had to pay in the middle of that I had to pay for the for the U-Haul to be pulled out and then I had to pay for another U-Haul to move from that other house to get to the house that we're in now so basically I had to pay all that I had to drop down deposits like crazy because of the simple fact that it was a new county so I had to drop it for the light bill there was no water included well water was included so I didn't have to pay for water but I had to drop so much money that total move and then including that I had to get the place plus pay a deposit for the place plus pay for application fees so if anybody is going through the whole moving thing this thing will drive you crazy the whole moving thing and i'm looking around because i'm like yo people probably think i'm crazy it was just so much fees that had to be thrown out this place that place more blah. even now it's so much fees that we have to pay this place that place but basically mike is back so i'm gonna hear what he has to say so hopefully it's good news. hey guys so michael basically had got the u-haul so the lady is about to pull the u-haul i guess in there so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna shut the whole car down uh shut the car down and since the car is staying overnight i'm gonna bring my vlogging stick i'm gonna bring it with me and i'm gonna get out of the car so i'm gonna shut it down now so i'm shutting off the car and all right hold on guys I don't think I need anything in here. I probably need my diaper bag. So, I'm gonna grab my diaper bag. My diaper bag definitely needs to be cleaned out. So bad. My diaper bag here. My stick. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna put my camera on the stick because I'd rather just do that. So it is super hot out here. I just locked the keys, locked the car. This is our new van, but it's super duper hot. So yeah, we are waiting for the truck. get back with you guys when I think we're gonna try to make it to the to the the washer machine place but if we can't I'll just get back at the house so hey guys so we are in the U-Haul we're gonna park it well not the U-Haul the Pedinsky so we're gonna park it up in the apartments so the apartments here that we live in but we're leaving so we're gonna park this you all up and start packing up and Mike dropped his phone so he's looking no so we're gonna park the U-Haul up. I don't know why I keep saying U-Haul. But we're gonna park it up and then the pet ski, no you Yeah. We're gonna park it up, pack it up. So Maybe in this vlog, but if it's not in this vlog, see you guys in another video.